Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial by Lazy Modding. Going to be going over on how to vertex paint and how to make objects glow like a light for an example within um, Farming Simulator 22. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. So it is much appreciated. So with that, we will get started. Um, I have went ahead and created a uh, model that we're going to use um, for this tutorial. That way, so I didn't bore you guys with all that. Uh, so basically what we have here is what we have a ballast, which is this green object that kind of holds the light itself in. Um, it is nicknamed the bow. Um, so that is there. And then inside we have two rows of Basically, I'm going to call them as LED lights. So um, what we're going to do is make it to where the ballast is, where the entire light is within Giant's editor at the end of this video, and the LEDs will actually glow. So we will go get started. Um, so for, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unwrap the ballast. So we're going to go UV. We're going to go Smart UV Project, and then I generally set my island's margin to 0 0.02 to 0 0.03, depending on how many faces there are, um, because you don't want your faces to be really small, but you also want to have enough room that um, if you have different materials going on to um, one object, that um, those textures aren't bleeding over onto each other. So... Um, that's where the island margin comes in. So we'll just hit OK. We'll go make sure it looks decent, and it does. Um, especially since we're not texturing it, it really doesn't matter. Um, next thing we're going to do is unwrap the lights. I'm going to do it both at the same time. So if you are in object mode, you can just hold Shift and then click on the two objects. And then just go into edit mode by hitting Tab. And then just go Smart UV Project. I'm going to use the same settings as before. And now we have it exported. Uh, UV unwrapped here. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room. Um, but basically, the way it works is as a vector in this sense, since we're not adding any textures to it. So it doesn't really matter on the UV map side of things. I just like to have everything unwrapped and nicely laid out. So now that we have it UV unwrapped, we are going to go to texture paint mode. And we are actually going to start our UV painting itself. So we're actually going to go to layout and we're going to select LED 1 to start with as it's easier. So we have LED 1 selected. And then we're going to go change this to vertex paint. And it will bring us to the vertex paint menu. Um, so first thing you want to do is to be able to select all your faces. So I generally, if you just hit tab within the vertex paint window, um, you can add it to edit mode. And I just hit A and it will select all the faces. I do recommend being in the face select mode for this. So now that you have all your faces selected, you can go and tap out of it. Um, also make sure you have your face selection as well here. And we're going to pick a color. But please note that whatever color you pick here is what your light will glow as in Giant's Editor. So if you want something that glows red, um, you can select red or blue, whatever. Um, for this one, we're just going to go with a pure white. So RGB values are all at 1. And we're just going to go, instead of having to manually paint this on, we're just going to go to Paint and hit Set Vertex Colors. And it will paint the colors of that um, onto there. And just to make sure it works, we'll go select green, set vertex colors, and see it changed it to green, but we want white. So, um, so we'll go back, set vertex colors. So that one's done. We'll go back to our layout. We'll select LED2. We'll go back to texture paint, make sure you're in vertex paint mode. And we'll go to edit mode, make sure everything's selected by hitting A. Tab out of that. Make sure that faces are selected. We're set to white. Paint, set vertex colors, and it will set those as well. So now we have that done. Now we can go and export our light or our ballast and our lights out. 
So I'm just going to select highlight all that. It's really only going to export the ballast and the two LED rows. So we'll go file export i3D and then we'll just select light um, and then just selected objects. Boom. We will export that out. So when we go to um, our tutorial folder, just go lights. Double click that, it will load up into a Giants Editor. Bring it over to the right screen. So now we have our light within Giants Editor. Zoom in real quick here. So as you can see, it's the same material colors as before. One thing you do want to do is make sure that your materials are separate though. So I have matte LED and I have matte light bow. Um, so the LED is for the LEDs, light ball is for the ballast, um, and then that also reflects in here as you can see light ball and then LED. So once you have it in Giants Editor, um, you'll want to add a uh, custom shader to this light. So if you want to select it, you can go to this custom shader menu. If you don't have this menu up, you can go to Window and material editing to bring this window up. So we'll select custom shader and then we'll hit this replace or add new shader. It will take you to your shader folder or if it doesn't route you there, it is in your farming simulator 22 data shaders. So then we're gonna go to vehicle shader as that's the way I've done all mine. Once you have vehicle shader loaded for the variant, you'll select this drop down and you'll go find static light. So once you do that, the lights should kind of turn to this ugly brown. Uh, and then if you go down, you will see now we have light control and blink offset. Light control will be your brightness. So as you crank it up, the lights will get brighter and then they will not get brighter. So. Basically, that is how it works. Um, please do note that this does not produce light. So if we add a cube to our mesh here, see there's no light bouncing off of it. No matter close it gets, it is still, it even actually shadows it. So no light is produced by the glow. All that has to be done by adding a light itself into the game. As you can see here, now stuff lights up. Um, so we'll just zero this out here real quick so I can show you guys. Spot, rotate this 90. So then as say, if we were wanting this to be a light, you could go and put the light in that and it will shine down like a light. But like I said, the light, the LED bars itself does not produce any light off. So there you go. So that is how to vertex paint within Blender for Farming Simulator, along with how to create an object to glow and Giants Editor. So hopefully this tutorial helped you guys out. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It does really mean a lot. Um, if and yeah, if you have any suggestions, make sure to put them in the comments. Other than that, we will catch y'all next time. Have a good one.